Uh, hi. Uh, in this video, we will see like uh, how this small tool which I have developed in Excel, we, we can use it to rename any files as per the ISO 19650 requirement. This can be used uh, or this can be done in case uh, if your company is not using any CDE setup. Okay. So th this is very helpful. So let's consider we have a project called Project X and once we go inside this, we have for the folders as per the ISO 19650 which is required. So let's suppose let's go to WIP that is work in progress and inside this let's go to architecture and here we have architectural file. So now let's suppose this architectural file is ready for sharing okay but the name is not as per the standard. So now how we can uh, rename it? The one way is we can rename it as f um, doing by using the manual renaming process but there's a lot of uh, chances for the error. So instead of that what we will do is uh, here uh, we have a uh, tool which I have developed in Excel. So here you can see uh, ISO 19650 naming without uh, status code and revision or with status code and revision. So let's suppose I want to rename it with using status code and revision. So let's open it. Now once you open it, you will see uh, we have already some fields uh, in the column which is uh, as per the requirement of ISO 19650 in BIM project. So we have uh, the metadata like project, originator, volume, level, file type and so on. So let's suppose we want to rename our uh, Revit file. So for that I have developed uh, using the developer tool I have used this, I've created this uh, button and uh, what I have done is I did the coding uh, in Visual Basic for these buttons and then we I have linked this uh, buttons with that code. So now to open the file, I can click on open the file and let's go to our project. So it's a project X, WIP, architecture and then architectural file. And then I can select this architectural model dot RVT. So I can select this and then click OK. Once it is selected, you will see uh, it will pop up a message that the file is selected. Once it is done, you can give whatever the name of the project so that's let's suppose we'll assign it as PRJ okay who is the originator so let's suppose it's MIC micro center and the volume so that's it which level it is it is for let's suppose ground floor file type it's a Revit model or a drawing let's suppose we can add it as a DR drawing model okay and it is under architect number we can give it let's suppose 5 okay and it is ready for sharing so I will assign the status as S1 and let's suppose this is revision 00, zero. so I will just give it R0 once this is done you can click on rename as per ISO now once it you can see there is a pop-up which is showing you that the file has been saved now let's click close and then let's go back and let's see here in the architecture, I have created a, another folder that is ISO 19650 naming. So whatever file will be renamed will come here. So once I open this, you can see the file has been renamed as per the ISO 19650 metadata. Thank you.